which it, you want to get some buildings on top of this hill to protect this gold, I guess. Uh, probably archers from the Aztecs player, but um, after a drush, maybe men-at-arms. Uh, on the other side of the map, Mateus, playing as Chinese, has four vills on wood early. Could be thinking about a drush himself. Uh, gold for Mateus is not in that bad of a position. Uh, natural kind of uh, pocket in the back here that he can probably protect. Maybe walling toward the TC and uh, walling across the front. And I think Mateus would have safe gold and safe wood and safe berries. But uh, that's just me. Uh, stone piles are out on the front, so we're not going to see any... Uh, we might not see that many castles from Mateus in the early in the early game. It'd be weird to see a castle in Dark Age, but you know what I'm trying to say here. Looks like we will watch these guys boom up at fast speed. The game is live, but we're a few minutes behind real time. And I will quickly turn the chat off as we roll through this one. Uh, looks like the blue player will actually go up on 22 vills. So he's end going to end up not really drushing. Going to build a couple militia during the feudal transition. Which is kind of uh, a really nice, impressive move. Couple vills on gold. So a three militia, uh, men-at-arms rush, you could call it, is probably what we're going to see. Blue player roams in along with his eagle, which is still on high HP. His scouting has shown him uh, really all the important parts of the map. Feudal Age coming uh, quite a bit later for Mateus, who's going to go up on 26 villagers. Uh, he will have a defensive drush, question mark? I don't know. Uh, doesn't look like it. One military unit for the red player. Going to try to quick wall his opponent out for the moment. He's actually succeeding quite nicely in doing that. Wow. Little bit of uh, crafty quick walling. You know, your eagle there, if you peel him away from the group, can usually get in a little earlier and stop those quick walls. Uh, but hey, Mateus got the job done in time. We'll drop an archery range and we'll try to start cleaning up these men at arms. Four men at arms and an eagle for the moment for blue. He's going to add an archery range at the bottom of the hill, kind of a safe location. Uh, and he's going to start cranking out a couple skirms. The blue player here has a nice bit of map view. He's already seen that his opponent is going into ranges, uh, and he's going to sneak around a little bit of a, a little bit of a defensive walling uh, procedure here. I don't know. It's getting late. I'm losing my words. But uh, that blue army continues to roam in. Look at these three idle vills that just had to build up walls and now are not working. A couple more vills on this wood line are busy, and now that eagle is out in front of the main group, and it will keep the walls open a bit longer. This vill's going down for shizzle. She is going to die, and uh, the others will be running for the hills. So it's starting to turn into a pretty good men-at-arms raid. Another villager here could go down. Yeah, she's going to die too. Uh, is, is he fast enough? No, not quite. Now it's time to go hit the berries. Oh my god, my name won't fit. AKA Hera here is doing a number on the red player Mateus at the moment. Villager count is equal, which is interesting. I wonder if the blue player grabbed wheelbarrow while I was looking away. Uh, but yeah, he's done some great raiding. Blue player's done some great raiding. Uh, has a lot more food in the bank than his opponent does, but uh, Mateus here is still alive. He's got 30 vills. A uh, little bit behind on military production. I presume that blue has wheelbarrow, uh, but I could be wrong about this. Anyway, another archery range coming down, question mark? Yeah, another range coming for blue. Looks like at the moment, ah, that villager's got 15 food in his pockets. That might mean something. It might mean nothing. But uh, yeah, at the moment, a nice little advantage for my name won't fit, who's kind of hanging out in the back, idling the berries, pushed his opponent off this wood line. First couple archers come out, no upgrades on those. Second range coming for the red player. Uh, blue is housed for a moment, has a mix of archers and skirms. Will not have any upgrades for now, but uh, is in a healthy position to continue to put it to his opponent. Blacksmith coming down, we'll see fletching when he can afford it, yeah, which will be soon, I think. Uh, let's see, yeah, there's fletching. Looks like these units will start to come forward and put a little pressure on. Blacksmith and archery range coming up for red. He'd never finish this second range, which is interesting. But uh, he did end up killing the eagle there. Men-at-arms still roaming around in the back, keeping these first couple archers busy. So, my name won't fit is out to a nice little advantage in this one. I mean, technically the villager counts are plus one for Mateus, but uh, the blue player having wheelbarrow and is now coming in the other side of the map and raiding. Lured his opponent into the back corner, kept these men-at-arms alive. Their time is over, but this new army's time has begun, and they're going to walk right into the back of this economy and kind of trap the red player inside of his own back corner of his base. 
That's a really interesting scenario. You don't see that very often. This blue player with his uh, plus one, plus one upgrades is going to absolutely crush this army. Mostly uh, has more skirms than his opponent as well. Red player will run in that vill and fight. Actually, pretty good micro from Mateus, dodging a couple volleys of skirmisher fire. In the end, these skirms are going to clean up all these archers. The villager is going after the skirm, unfortunately. She could probably chase that archer. She's going to die. A lot of that army is going to die. And uh, Mateus, still on the defensive, is going to be down by one villager. All that being said, uh, Mateus is down by one villager. It's not that big of a deal. More vills still cranking out for the blue player. He is now on double range archers. Economy is looking pretty healthy. 500 food, 50 gold. Uh, Mateus at the moment, not nearly as much food uh, in the bank. Red player is still getting raided by archers, having to bring his villagers into the fight. It gets a little lucky there. This vill probably should have died, but uh, the blue army not quite able to identify the low HP vill. Still a couple archers roaming around the top side, keeping Mateus playing very defensively. He's walled himself in here because of the men-at-arms, but uh, now archers will be able to fire over those walls. <laughs> Hera here will lame a couple deer. Oh my god, my name won't fit. Love that name has uh, made his opponent go into full skirm. That's a pretty nice thing to, to make your opponent do. Castle Age on the way for the Aztecs player, who's going to have to basically run from this for now. So we'll see Castle Age in very soon from blue. Unfortunately, Mateus is not going to be clicking up for quite some time. It's going to be quite some time. Uh, we'll see the red player wall himself in. We'll see similar villager counts. I don't know if red has wheelbarrow here. But, yeah, it doesn't look like he does, so that is really going to slow his economy a bit, and it might slow his uptime a bit if he decides to get it before clicking up. Uh, Chinese player at the moment is just trying to keep the ship afloat. Lu Roll, have you thought about a, a clan yet? Ah, a little bit. I wish we could stop calling it a clan, though. Feels too KKK to me. Thinking about clan a little. Lou, Lou wants me to join uh, a clan in AOC, which would be fun, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I gotta A, get better, and B, uh, find a group of people who I, I don't know, want to play a ton of games with. Anyway, uh, this is, I would say, a pretty bad fight for, oh, oh my god. Uh, he's cleaning up a lot of skirms. His opponent does have plus one, plus one, but I, I don't know. Uh, he's gonna be fine, I guess, but losing these archers before they become crossbows seems like a weird thing to do. Yeah, in the end, it probably won't matter. Blue player cleaning up a lot of those skirms. Hits the castle age. Mateus is in so much trouble, and he's going to give a very early GG. Pretty masterful men-at-arms push from the blue player Hera. He was blue, now he's red. Uh, followed up by a skirm and archer mix. He lured his opponent's army into the back corner to kill those men-at-arms. He rolled into the front of this base and just started decimating villagers. In the end, the uh, the game was pretty much won uh, in the very early feudal age by Oh, oh my God, my name won't fit, aka Hera. That's it for me for today. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, again, if you want to see more non-mirror matchups, I have a whole playlist on my YouTube. Uh, this is Killer B signing off of Twitch and saying goodbye to anybody watching this video on YouTube. Much love. Catch you later. Bye.